What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Tommy Springfield, a.k.a. the King of All Talk, a.k.a. I'm representing for the Queen, so I'm the Queen of All Talk, too. That's what we do over here. But enough of all that. Before we get into this video, I like to say I'm the realest dude out of my city, and all I really want to know is... How y'all doing? doing out there? So today's video, we got an inmate that was found dead in his cell. He was eaten alive by bed bugs and other shit. How? How, how does that happen? I've been locked up. I'm up north. It's a little bit different, but, you know, they walk by your cell every 15, 20, 30 minutes where I'm from. So how the hell did this happen? Fulton County, got some explaining to do. Enough of me talking. Let's get into it. Local pass. Family of a Fulton County jail inmate has now demanded justice months after his death. LaShawn Thompson was found dead in his jail cell, covered in bed bugs and other insects last year. His family believes the filthy living conditions contributed to his death. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at the Fulton County Courthouse, where the family held a news conference this afternoon. Deidre? And the family telling us that Thompson suffered from mental issues. He was being held in the jail's psychiatric ward at the time of his death. His family now asking that criminal charges be filed in the case, and they want that jail closed. There is no excuse for a mentally ill inmate to be left alone in a jail, abandoned to die. Attorney Michael Harper says that's just what happened. We have jail reports showing they saw Mr. Thompson deteriorating. The medical staff and the, and the officers saw him deteriorating in the last few weeks before he died. They did nothing to help him. LaShawn Thompson's family wants those responsible for his care at the Fulton County Jail to be criminally charged after the inmate was found dead in his jail cell, covered in bugs September 13th. Thompson was being held in the psychiatric wing. We're asking for Connie Willis, the DA of Fulton County, to launch a criminal investigation into the death of LaShawn Thompson. And we are also asking for the Fulton County commissioners to close the jail and to build a new one. Harper represents Thompson's family. He shared these images of the filthy jail cell Harper was being held. Listen, like I said, man, I've been to jail, man. Jails don't look like that, man. I, I, I ain't been to prison. I've been to county, did at most a two-year bid. Man, they don't look like that. Actually, where I'm from, them Spanish boys take pride in their jails, man. They floors be spit, shine. It's mandatory you got to clean them shits every day. I don't know what y'all doing in the South, but this is nasty and disgusting. And I'm pretty sure it's people, white people, in America that says this is what we deserve, bro. No one deserves to live like this. If sales is like this, a whole lot of people should be in prison. Not just the people at this jail. A whole lot of goddamn people. I'm disgusted. ...during that period. His relatives live out of state and only learned he was incarcerated after his death. Okay, jail should be closed because nobody should be housed like this. Uh, it was a crazy incident that happened, and we want justice for it. A spokesman with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office says Thompson's death remains under investigation and that since his death, the agency has spent $500,000 to address the bug infestation within... So, <clears throat> did this sheriff... Definitely should be brought out. Fire and squad should be lined up and he should be shot. But I'm not saying that. Sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. I don't mean literally. But what I'm saying is 500000 to address the infestation. Listen, you need 500000 just to tear that cell down and build that one cell. Fuck the infestation. You got to tear that one cell down. You got to spend that whole 5000 just on that one cell. Now you got to go get some more for the infestation in the rest of the jail. It's going to cost 500000 from what I've seen to clean that one cell. I, I, he posted this like, oh, I'm proud. I, I spent 500000 to address the infestation. The infestation. No. Put bombs, take that, get some bombs, and just tear the jail down, blow it up. 
the Fulton County Jail and updated protocols to include addressing sanitary conditions. Well, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labonte has on several occasions also lobbied for a new jail facility. One more thing. Listen, had they brung me to that cell and said, this your cell? Oh, man, they would have to shoot me and kill me right then and there. Like, nah, I would have been like, nah. I ain't going in there. Nah, not in there? Nah, oh, no, nah, shoot me, kill me. But I had to get that off my chest real quick. Sorry, y'all. To be built here in Fulton County. As for Thompson's family, they say that they do expect to file a civil suit at some point. In Fulton County, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Local pass. If you a supporter of the channel, much love and respect. And if you're one of them haters and you support prisons looking like that, cut the shit.